Hello! Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV! Here in Limsa Liminsa Upper Decks at uh, the Armorer's Guild. Let's talk to Hananza to accept on to the Dry Docks. Forgemaster Hananza, head of Naldic and Vimelis, wants you to assist with the workload over at the Morabi Dry Docks. What say you to taking on some work for Naldic and Vimelis? We've a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks for your first job i need you to run this missive over to at brim the head shipwright at the morabay morabi dry docks we forge most of the ship's bits and pieces here at the armorers guild but the actual construction takes place at the docks found in the south of lower lena scotia that's also where you'll find the main offices of Naldic and Vimelis. The Morabi Dry Docks is one of Limsa Liminsa's most important districts, at least as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure you'll not regret attuning yourself to the area's Aetherite. If you've no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd be, be best served making use of the Chocobo Porters. First floor of the Mizzenmast, in case you were wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate and follow the road south, may the navigator guide your steps. Um, you know, I'm kind of curious actually now about taking the Chocobo Porter. Uh, I thought you could only do that if you had access to or had already been to the area, but hey, let's find out together. If not, we'll just run there, like uh, he said. <sighs> and I'm assuming this is the Mizzenmast. Yes, it is. Top floor, which is the... where the uh, airship is. And Chocobo, Chocobo, Frontline Attendant, Frontline Attendant. What? Oh, this is PvP. Airship particular. Huh. Uh, don't really know what they're talking about there. Maybe it's uh, in the Drowning Winch, and I just didn't see it. Mm. I'm not seeing it, so we're just going to run there. Lots what we'll do. Um, first we gotta get over to the Tempest Gate. Let's see here. So, Lower Lana Scotia, Morby Dry Docks, Limsa Liminsa, Tempest Gate. Okay. Make sure we don't already have it. Nope. Alright, on to the Tempest Gate. Yep, so pretty much uh, <laughs> just got a bunch of running to do. Um, we'll do some sightseeing while we're out here, I suppose. Uh, there's a wharf rat. Oh, there's a bunch of quests out here uh, that are low level too. That uh, I guess I should start doing some of those. I don't think I've actually had to do anything in lower Lana Scotia quest wise. Um, which is why I haven't gotten to any of these quests yet. But, no reason to worry about that now. Just gotta cross this bridge. I had talked about, uh, like, fast forwarding through 
sections, but um, for this video series, just because I have such a massive amount of videos, um, I'm really not putting, as you can probably tell, I'm not putting a lot of production effort and uh, pr there's not a, pr a lot of production quality in these videos in terms of editing and all that stuff. Um, obviously, you can hear the clicking of my keyboard, which is somewhat unprofessional, but uh, I figured, you know, I just want to, hey, Jackal, um, I just want to do this. And if I spend time editing, like, this will be the only video series that I ever do, because it'll take forever. So, I'm going to continue to uh, just do video editing on my other Let's Plays that aren't as uh, gargantuan of a series. But, here we are at Morbi Dry Docks. So let's hit up that Aethernet crystal. Ooh, look at that thing. So blue. So blue. Man, it would be great if you could teleport. Uh, you know, it sounds like a great thing, but now that I think of it, it would probably be awful once it actually was a reality. Because then, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Would it be a good thing? What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. You have a missive, missive f for me from Forge Master Hananza. I assume it pertains to the pending arrival of the materials I ordered over a moon past. Let's see it then. Here it is. Don't trust me. Blast and botheration. Another delay. I am well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. Uh, my apologies. The messenger does not deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? Yeah, but you gotta give it back. Hoodie, is it? Well, Hoodie, this proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the dock since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is a symbol of Limsa Lamensa's rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the sum Seventh Umbral Era. Thus, we are striving to complete her construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thalassocracy. Yet, even with such unprecedented measures, there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there is no end of odd jobs for a hard-working adventurer. Be you fair warned, this is no place. There is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. Okay. And as a reward, we can take leather jackboots, amateur duck bills, or two elegant bronze pieces. We're taking the duck bills. Quack, quack. Wow. We leveled up. We made it to Morabi Dry Docks, and we got some shoes. Ooh, look at those shoes. Boy, I just look stupider and stupider by the day. Look at this dummy. Anyway, that does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.